Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Saturday afternoon, March the 3rd, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. A couple of stake races to handicap this afternoon, folks. Let's go to the Big A first. Three stake races on their card, including race 5, 3.02 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Top Flight Handicap 8.5 Furlong Route Test on Aqueduct's Winterized Inner Dirt Track, Grade 2. Phillies and Mares, 3 years old and up race for a stakes prize is some... $200,000. Contenders number four, it's Tricky. Number five, Love and Pride. Number two, Delightful Mary. And number one, Coco Ecolo. Number four, it's Tricky. Takes a class drop of eight units this afternoon as the pace profile leader. Racing at or about eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. Sp uh, shares the speed honors in this graded stakes field with number five, Love and Pride. She hit the board in five straight with four of those board hit efforts including back-to-back -back wins in her fourth and fifth races back also qualifying as power runs. Jockey Ramon Dominguez and trainer Kieran McLaughlin sent her to the post. They've whacked the toe board with an impressive 78 percent of their entry saddles a team to date. Love and Pride who is number five a six to one shot has hit the board in power run fashion in four straight including a power run win her last time out. Race 5 summary, number 4, it's Tricky, tops my contenders list this afternoon, which also includes number 5, Love and Pride, number 2, Delightful Mary, and number 1, Coco Ecolo, 4-5-2-1, in the 5th from Aqueduct, the $200,000 grade 2, top flight, handicap. Gulfstream Park in South Florida next for race 10. 5.17 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Canadian Turf Stakes Mile Test on the Turf Grade 3. Four-year-olds and up race for $150,000. Contenders number 8, Little Mike. Number 2, Mutual Trust. Number 1, Doubles Partner. And number 7, Perfect Footprint. Number 8, Little Mike, has won an impressive 8 of 9 in his career to date. Racing at today's distance of a mile on the turf is the pace profile leader in this field and has also won four straight, with three of those winning efforts also qualifying as power runs. Jockey Joe Bravo has been in his irons on ten previous occasions, winning nine times en route to a positive 390% return on investment in the process. He's back today for a ride number 11. Number two, Mutual Trust, a British bred entry, takes a class drop of five track master units, has posted a trio of wins in his last five outings, with two of those circle trips also qualifying as power run wins. Race 10 summary, number 8, Little Mike, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 2, Mutual Trust, number 1, Doubles Partner, and number 7, Perfect Footprint, 8217, the 10th from Gulfstream, the $150,000 Grade 3 Canadian Turf Stakes. Bonus Long Shots, Parks Racing, Ben Salem, PA, Race 4, the 92 shot, number 7, Land Lash, Drops in class by 11 track master units as the overall speed leader in his claiming field, sprinting at or about today's distance of six and one half furlongs on the dirt. Mountaineer Park, race three, entry number one, variable, eight to one of the morning line, drops in class by 12 track master units. Nice speed for this five furlong sprint this evening. So handicapping from both Aqueduct, the Big A, and Gulfstream Park on a Saturday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.